In this video, I am going to explain a short tutorial on simple weighted sum product method and it is an integration of weighted sum and weighted product method. So I have given the reference where I have considered this particular calculations and all. So this is the reference I am following. We are going to select a material for a cryogenic storage tank which is used for transportation of liquid nitrogen. So we have already seven alternatives and seven beneficial and non-beneficial attributes. We have classified it as three beneficial and three, four non-beneficial attributes. And for these attributes, we have proper weights also assigned, which is equal to one. Now we have to consider these weights by using any of the weightage methods, which has been there in the literature. Let's say we can use entropy, we can use analytical hierarchy process, we can use critic method. There are various kind of weighting methods which you can follow the same. Coming to the weighted sum product method, so these are the simple steps which are available in the literature. So taking the first step, the foremost step for any decision making problem is formulation of a decision matrix. The second step is in normalization of the decision matrix. So normalization basically we have various kinds of normalization problems depending upon beneficial and non-beneficial attributes. Here we have only one particular formula for both beneficial and non-beneficial. In this step itself, we will calculate that one with respect to weightage also. That is called as weighted normalized decision matrix. So in this step itself, we'll get the weightage normal decision matrix. Then we are going to determine four utility measures. So based on this WISP method, we have weighted sum weighted product, weighted sum ratio and weighted product ratio. So these four methods are going to be applied to this weighted normalization decision matrix and we will get in the form of a single matrix. So after that one, again, we are recalculating the four utility measures with these formulae and then we will get a, we will get the respective values for these alternatives and finalize and finally, we are going to calculate the overall utility for each alternative with respect to this one. And the last step is the ranking of the alternatives. So let's see how we have to do this one. So as the first step indicates that we need to go for formulation of a decision matrix. This decision matrix which I have formulated has taken from the literature. I will cite that also in the description. So coming to the second step, the second step we have maximization. So we have to estimate the maximum value. So what I will do is I will go for maximum of all the beneficial and non-beneficial and just drag and drop. So you will get the maximum values. This next step is the current value divided by the maximum value. So here I will press two times F4 so that the row is fixed whereas column will be vary when we drag it to the other cells. Okay. So just to drag it. Let's drag it. If you need, we can cross verify it. So whether the values are matching it correctly or not. So now we have completed the normalization of the matrix. So now the task is we have to go for normalization with respect to weighted sum and with respect to weighted product normalization. So how I am going to do this one? See, first of all, weighted sum normalization is nothing but multiplication. Okay. So I will simply go for multiplying with respect to the weights. So this value multiplied by this value, enter. So this will be common for all the things. We can cross check it. Similarly for weighted product, so for, for weighted product, what we will do is we will use power. So power to this value, pressing F4 again. So this is the procedure for calculation of weighted product normalized. So weighted sum normalized and weighted product normalized has been calculated. So up to this, the second step has been completed. Then the third step is calculation of four utility measures. So here, whatever this RI and WJ, RI and WJ for 
weighted product and weighted sum already we have calculated here so simply we will take these values and we will try to get this u wsd pro wsd in the demand weighted sum wp is the weighted product r is ratio so here how to calculate this one is equal to sum of beneficial so here how many beneficial are there the first three are beneficial minus sum of next four are non-beneficial okay so max min max is beneficial minimum is non-beneficial so similarly i will drag it up to down okay the same thing i have to do it for weighted product also so weighted product what i will do sum of the first three beneficial minus sum of the next four non-beneficial attributes just drag it to the bottom so weighted sum and weighted product we have got now we have to calculate weighted sum ratio and weighted product ratio so this weighted sum and weighted product ratio how we have to calculate is equal to so the first thing is maximum the second thing is minimum so what i will do is i will go for summation of beneficial attributes divided by summation of non-beneficial attributes just enter so that will become the ratio similar for weighted product also summation of beneficial divided by summation of non-beneficial so that is what the formula talking about so we have get this third step so this entire thing is a third step next one we have to calculate recalculate the four utility measures so for recalculating we have a special formula here so just for this particular weighted sum if i consider only for weighted sum we have to add plus one to the numerator and plus one to the denominator and we have to take the maximum value so here the chance is we have to estimate the maximum value so i will go and estimate the maximum value so the same will be there copy and i will paste it here so that it will be easy so now I, now now the thing is i have calculated the maximum i will keep the cells in some different manner so that it will be understand for us next thing is we have to calculate the four utility measures by adding plus so what i will do is is equal to one plus this divided by one plus maximum of this one just i press f4 enter i will drag it to the bottom so the last one is not required only up to seven alternatives next wsr also the same formula one plus divided by one plus max similarly do it for weighted product sum and weighted product ratio also we can double click and check at every time whether the formula is correct or not so now the thing is we have calculated the four utility measures the recalculations has also been done in this case step 4 is also completed now the step 5 is we have to take the average of all the things into a single alternative so the average we will consider like this 1 divided by 4 plus the weighted sum plus weighted sum ratio plus weighted product plus weighted product ratio and i will drag it up to the bottom definitely it will be six thing uh, all these four things we are getting summation so it is the utility value the maximum utility value we are going to consider it here next i am going to rank those alternatives rank of 
the current one close the bracket enter and drag it up to last two so the third one is a best case so the third one the ss301 fh is the best alternative followed by you can take titanium followed by ss 310 h so this is the way how we have to calculate the wisp method there is another method also which is simpler than wis it is called as simple wisp this is the reference i am following for simple wisp method as i am saying that it is an integration of weighted sum and weighted product here in the utility measures instead of four they are using only two utility measures that is weighted sum and weighted product ratio the same thing for weighted sum and weighted product ratio so if you remove the two things okay this wsr and wpd from the previous sheet we will get the same almost all similar rankings as we can also see here the third alternative is a best alternative in the earlier case also the same thing we have got so this is the way how we have to calculate the weighted sum product method as well as simple weighted sum product method this is an integration of weighted sum and weighted product method thank you